Hey everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and in this video I want to talk to you about Windows Sandbox. Now Windows Sandbox is a piece of technology that is built into the Windows operating system that allows you to spin up an isolated environment for you to maybe do some demos in or to run some software inside of or potentially even use as an isolated environment separate from your own PC or your own laptop that allows you to test out scripts. So if you have something that is potentially malware, you can use this isolated environment within Windows Sandbox to test out that script and see what it actually does and determine whether it is malware or not. Now, there are some prerequisites that you have to do um, or have to have in order to install Windows Sandbox onto your machine. Most modern PCs, most modern laptops will have the requirements to enable you to actually run Windows Sandbox. So let's dive in and actually show you how to enable Windows Sandbox and how you can use it. To enable the Windows Sandbox what we have to do is click on our Windows icon and search for Windows features. Now we select the turn Windows features on or off option and when it loads what we want to do is find the Windows Sandbox option. So you make sure that that's ticked and click OK. It may take a few minutes for this to install and it may ask you to reboot your machine. Once you've done that, Windows Sandbox will be installed on your machine. Once you've rebooted the machine, uh, you can now start to actually use Windows Sandbox. So again, you click on the Windows icon and search for Windows Sandbox. Now by default, what it will do is launch a empty version of Windows Sandbox. So you'll have the Windows 10 operating system and you'll have some basic programs installed. Your folders will be empty. The same folder structure that you're familiar with will be there, but it'll be completely empty for you to play with and to test things and try out things as you need and wish to. Now what I've got here is a script that I'm not entirely sure what it does and rather than run it on my own machine I want to run it inside the Windows Sandbox and test that on the script and understand what it does before I run it on my own machine. So I can't drag and drop that file into my Windows Sandbox but I can copy and paste it into it. Now that that file is inside my Windows Sandbox I can open it up and see what it does. Now here is just a dummy script that I've got. Potentially this could be malware that you want to test or a script that someone's maybe been sent and you want to understand what it does before releasing it um, and then testing it. Now once we're finished with our testing what we can do is close down the sandbox and as you can see from the dialog box it says us that when we close the sandbox all the contents will be discarded and permanently lost which is good in this case obviously if we're testing something that we're not entirely sure about. Now, there are scenarios where you will want the Windows Sandbox to have certain tools or software installed in order for you to test something or to perform out several actions. And this is where you can actually start to build up a repository of configuration scripts that will launch the Sandbox with the required um, tools or software or map drives or settings, whatever that may be that you require um, pre-built. So the sandbox won't be empty and it will have all the settings that you want. Now these files are WSB files and if we have a look at one that I have here, we have it where it will map a folder from my host machine, so my physical machine, inside the Windows sandbox. It'll only have read access to it, so it'll be able to find some of the files that are in that folder. It also then runs a script on logon. So at logon, it will run this VS code install.cmd file. Now, if we have a look at what a CMD file is, what it does is install downloads the latest version of Visual Studio Code for me, puts it onto my sandbox desktop, and then it actually installs Visual Studio Code for me so that when I launch my Windows Sandbox, I will have Visual Studio Code installed on that sandbox for me. And we can see here, I've launched that file and it started my Windows Sandbox and Visual Studio Code is there for me. Now, obviously you can configure these configuration scripts how you want them and how you want your various different sandboxes, but it's great to have so that you can have multiple environments configured the way that you want. You can see here inside my repository I've got a few configurations that I use for my Windows Sandbox environments. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you learn about Windows Sandbox, then hit that like button for me and do leave me a comment as to what you're using Windows Sandbox for and the use cases that you've encountered for it. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next video.